Next guest that we have here is a third generation restaurant owner who says he's definitely feeling the hiring pinch as he reopens locations. Let's welcome in Alan Rosen. He's the owner of the iconic Junior's restaurants in New York City, famous for the cheesecake. My waistline cannot handle as much of it anymore in my older age, but still, you're making great cheesecake. Can you sell them given the fact that there is perhaps a labor shortage out there? Yes, yes, we can is the short answer, but they're definitely, we are seeing signs. You know, we're looking to re-staff four restaurants. We went from 850 employees down to 150 during the pandemic. We're now back up to 350, but we're now starting to hit a little bit of a wall and seeing that people have, you know, there's, there's three things at play in the rehiring thing, I think. One, you know, some of our restaurants have been closed for 14 months. We just reopened one last week. A lot of people have pivoted. I know one of my managers who I had a very good relationship with called me during the pandemic. She said, I got this great offer at this supermarket chain, and now she doesn't have to work nights. And so I think that's figuring into it. Um, people have pivoted their careers, but certainly the added unemployment benefits have kept some people on the sidelines during this recovery. So, 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 I mean, Alan, that, that, that flies in the face of what the Biden administration is currently saying right now. They feel as though... Enhanced unemployment is not the reason why you're seeing a labor shortage right now. It could be other things like uncertainty about child care, uncertainty yep. about health in the future, that sort of thing. How exactly then does a business owner, small, medium or large, remedy that situation to get people back into their places to work if the economy is to ramp up the way we want to post pandemic? There's a couple of things. One, I think we're going to have to do more with less, which we've been figuring out out of COVID, how to simplify our operations and just be more efficient. Uh, number two, I think as you see the reopening effect happen and you get towards the fall, I think this is going to loosen up greatly. We're going to be more inclined to be at 100 percent of our business and people are going to be realizing that those benefits are going to be sunsetting and it's time to get back to work. So, 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 so if, 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 if you don't mind, if I, if I follow up on this, if you feel Please. as though things normalize by the fall and then things kind of get back to normal, people will then want to come back to work again. You, you made a reference to the fact that you are, it, you're, you're running more efficiently, leaner these days because you've had to. Do you foresee as a restaurant owner that you will stick with some of those types of efficiencies going forward? In other words, Will you be hiring fewer people because of technological or labor advances in what the, you have in your restaurants? The short answer is I don't know, because when our restaurants get back, we have three of the top grossing restaurants in the United States of America. And when they're going full tilt, it's hard for me to imagine us doing more with less in that environment. But right now in this environment, we're certainly doing more with less because, you know, we reopened a store last week. Our sales, you know, we hit 30 percent of what our normal sales would be. Granted, it was our first week open, and I think that's a pretty good open. But, you know, as these numbers grow, it's, it's, it remains to be seen how, how, how much efficiency we actually get in what I call a really labor-intensive business, the restaurant industry. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.